Hello folks and welcome to a quick tutorial guide where I'm going to show you how to create your own custom resolutions similar to NVIDIA DSR but the main difference being is that you can actually change aspect ratio to have um, wide screens and things like that even if you've got a standard monitor. So you start by right clicking your desktop and get your NVIDIA control panel up. And once the menu pops up in the top left corner um, under display at the very top you have a section called change resolution and then at the bottom you have a customized section so it's first of all it's important to note what your native resolution of your monitor is because any resolutions that you create you either want to base them on um, resolutions which are standardized formats or um, logical mathematical multiples of your native resolution such as 1.5 times 2 times 2.5 times and 3 times so mine is a 1080p uh, 1920 a standard 16 to 9 aspect ratio so you hit customize and a menu will pop up and then you tick this box here which says enable resolutions which are not exposed by the display and then you would hit your create custom resolution button as you can see i've got a, a whole raft of resolutions up here uh, ranging from 2868 by 1080 um, and that is the aspect ratio of a facebook um, cover photo and then we've got 3360 by 1440 uh, which is the same thing just upscaled to 1440p uh, 3840 by 2160 which is 4k um, 5040 by 2160 which i think is 4k in the 219 aspect ratio and some other ones as well excuse that pop-up so um, when you do create custom resolution so you just have it starts off at 1920 then you obviously you can open your calculator um, work out your multiplication factors and when you put them in so for example if we put in 3840 by 2160 you'd hit the test button it says the custom mode already exists so you sure you want to replace it so for the testing purposes i'll do it press yes it will change your resolution and then you choose yes to say you want to save it because it worked then it will return you back to your normal resolution who knows what that will do with the video capture by the way that'll be fun to find out so when you've created all your resolutions you press ok and if you were um, wanting to apply this to use on your train simulator install if you run train simulator in full screen then you can leave your computer running in your native resolution and it will then change it on full screen resolution but if um, like me you use borderless which adds um, a bit more stability when you're tabbing out to like timetables and things then what you'd actually want to do would be you'd want to set your desktop resolution from one of these custom ones here and apply it and then fire up train simulator now um, one more setting to try before we look at setting the resolution in train simulator without having to go into the game change the resolution quit and restart and load the game is making sure that your um, your desktop size and position how it adjusts the resolution is done correctly so you'll see here we've got currently 920 by 1080 now you want to select to perform the scaling on your GPU um, not on your display then tick to override the scaling mode which is set by the games or programs basically to ensure your GPU does it and then aspect ratio this is a key one that means that if you choose a different aspect ratio to what's a native on your monitor it will do the letterbox like if you're watching a cinema film 
or something on DVD rather than stretching it to fit your screen and looking like all kinds of weird proportions. So once that's all set up, you close out of the control panel. Now the other thing that we, would be ideal for you to have to perform this is a nice app for train simulator mods called RW Tools. I'm not going to explain the full workings of it, how to install it, etc. That stuff is all covered online elsewhere. But what it enables you to do is when you open Explorer, you go to your train simulator folder, Railworks, and then content, and you have this file here called playerprofiles.bin. So if you double click that and open it, it has a myriad other things to do with all sorts of game settings, but we want to scroll right down towards the bottom where we have this section here with the resolution. You can just see those three lines there. So, as you can see at the moment, I have in full screen is set to two, which is borderless. One is full screen and zero is windowed. And then in here, you can just input your custom resolution. And when you've done that, you go and you save the file and then you're ready to play train simulator now um, one thing that's worth noting obviously the um, ssaa anti-aliasing in train simulator is very very intensive what we're effectively doing here is using the gpu to process in a much more efficient way with downscaling and save your performance so you want to be sure that your anti-aliasing setting if you're using one of these um, downscaled resolutions that we're going to choose is no higher than three. Three is FXAA and uh, MSAA, I think, anti-aliasing. You don't want the SSAA anti-aliasing because basically you're going to be making the computer do everything twice with regards to downsampling. So make sure that's set to three. Have your resolution as you suit. And so I've got two for full screen meaning borderless so that would mean in order for that to work i would have to come to my control panel change my resolution to match which i'll do now again no idea what that's going to do with the video recording press apply and then i've got my little shortcut to the 64 bit down here press that and it will boot you up into train simulator and um, what i'm hoping is obviously that it's doing all the downscaling and that will mean that this video is still appearing in uh, 1080p but obviously you can see that everything is smaller because it's rendering all the pixels and then half in it for display purposes um, other main advantage of this is for um, screenshots so when you use your control s shortcut or the camera button in train simulator to capture the images it will actually capture them in the full resolution that the gpu is um, rendering before it then scales it down for displaying on your monitor so it does allow you to get very very high resolution images i've been able to on some routes run in uh, resolutions up to 14 15 megapixels equivalent and still get in between 15 and 20 frames a second and i'm by no means running a supercomputer now you'll just confirm by settings here and you can see here we've got your resolution got borderless go to advanced we got the msaa times eight and your anisotropic filtering and view distance obviously just depend on how it how you want it to perform in game then you're ready to play train simulator as and rain required and if ever you need to change the resolution you just drop out of game go to that player profiles file re-edit the resolution make sure you do the same with your desktop resolution if you're running borderless or otherwise full screen um, just leave it in native and that's all that you have to do hope this guide's been helpful for you for those of you who want to look at getting different resolution and sort of nice wild wide field of view photos captured from the game.